Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Carla on, on Linux using the quick installation package. This method is super simple. You don't need to install Unreal Engine or build Carla from source. Let's get started. Step one, downloading the Carla package. First, open your browser and just Google Carla installation Linux. Click on the first link you see. It should take you to the official Carla documentation. Once you're there, look for the option called Quick Start Package Installation. This section will guide you through downloading and running the binary version of Carla. The package already includes the Carla server, two options for building the client library, and some extra assets, which you can download later if needed. Important note, this is the binary version of Carla. That means you can't use it with Unreal Engine directly. If you want that functionality, you'll need to install Carla from source and also install Unreal Engine. By the way, I've added a link to my build from source tutorial in the video description below, so make sure to check that out if you need it. Before we begin the installation, here's what you'll need. A Windows or Linux system. I'm using Ubuntu 22.04, a decent GPU, something like an NVIDIA RTX, enough disk space, and Python 3 installed on your system. Let's quickly check the Python version I have. I'll run Python 3 version. In my case, it shows Python 3.10, which works perfectly. Now let's check pip. I'll run pip3 version. Mine says pip22.2, which is great because Carla requires pip version 20.3 or higher. If your version is older, you can upgrade it by running pip3 install upgrade pip. Other requirements. Here are a few more things to keep in mind. Make sure you have a stable internet connection. Ensure the required TCP ports are open. Carla uses these to communicate. And don't worry, we'll install any Python dependencies as we go. Now let's keep everything clean and organized. I'm going to create a new folder for the Carla package, and I'll call it Carla underscore package underscore Linux. Then I'll move into that folder. This will be our working directory for the rest of the setup. Let's start by creating a Python virtual environment. According to the official documentation, this is a great way to keep your Python packages isolated and organized. It ensures that anything you install won't interfere with other projects. To do that, we'll use the command python3 mvenv, followed by a name. Let's call it carla underscore venv. This creates a new virtual environment right in your current folder. Once that's done, the next step is to activate the virtual environment. After activation, you'll notice your terminal prompt changes a bit. It shows Carla underscore Venv at the beginning. That's how you know you're inside the environment. Now, everything we install will stay inside this contained space. All right, now let's install the required Python packages. You might come across some guides using commands like pip install hyphen hyphen user, but since we're already in a virtual environment, you don't need the hyphen hyphen user flag. Just stick to a simple pip install followed by the package name. I've tested this process myself, and it works smoothly. Just repeat this for each dependency listed in the Carla documentation. Now let's talk about how to download the Carla package. There are two main options available. The first option is the ubuntu.deb installer. This works well if you're using Ubuntu 18.04 or 20.04. However, if you're on Ubuntu 22.04, like I am, this method might not work correctly. So instead, we'll go with the second option, the direct package download from GitHub. This method is simple, works reliably, and is the one I recommend. Head over to the official Carla GitHub repository. You'll find the latest stable version, older releases, and also nightly builds. At the time I'm recording this video, the latest version is Carla 
click on that release. We'll download two files here, the Carla package itself and the additional maps, which give you access to more towns and assets. These files are quite large, so once you click download, just hang tight. It might take a while. Let's wait for the download to complete before moving on. Now, let's move ahead and extract everything to complete the setup. Let's begin by extracting the Carla package. Once both files are downloaded, go ahead and right-click on the Carla archive. Now choose Extract. This might take a bit of time depending on your system performance. Once the extraction is complete, move the extracted Carla folder into the working directory we created earlier. Let's open the folder and take a look, just to make sure everything looks good inside. Awesome. Now we're ready for the next part, extracting the additional maps. Just like before, right-click the additional maps archive and click Extract. Once it's done, move the contents into the Import folder inside the Carla directory. The documentation also mentions the step, so you're following the right path. All right, with both packages extracted, we now need to import the maps into Carla. Inside the Carla folder, you'll find a script that handles this for you. It's called Import Asset. Before running it, make sure you're in the main Carla folder. That's where the script lives. Once you're in the right place, go ahead and run the script. This will import all the additional towns and assets into your Carla setup. Perfect. Once that finishes, your simulator is loaded with all the maps and ready for the next step. Now let's talk about installing the Carla Python API. There are two ways to install the Python API, depending on your Carla version. If you're using a version earlier than 0.9.12, you'll need to follow the older method shown in the documentation. But since we're using Carla 0.9.15, we'll follow the newer updated installation method. There are three ways to install this, using .egg files, using .wheel files, or by installing directly via pip. Let's first check which files are available. Go into the folder called Python API slash Carla slash dist. Here you'll find two .egg files one for Python 2.7 and one for Python 3.7. Let's check the Python version on my system. Just run Python 3 space hyphen hyphen version. In my case, it's Python 3.10. That means there's no .egg file available for this version. Same goes for the .whl file. They're only built for Python 2.7 and 3.7, so I can't use those. Instead, I'll go with the third method, which is installing Carla using pip. It works perfectly with Python 3.10, especially inside a virtual environment. Let's do that next. This method supports Python versions 3.6 and above, including 3.10. It also works perfectly inside a virtual environment, which we already set up earlier. All right, let's install the library. In the terminal, just run pip3 install Carla. Let the installation complete. This will pull in all the required packages and dependencies. Once that's done, we're ready to launch the simulator. Head to your Carla root folder. Just run dot slash Carla UE 4 dot est. Sometimes when you use this command, Carla may not use the graphics card properly especially if you're using an NVIDIA GPU. So I'm running the modified command as you can see on the screen. You can try launching without it first and see how Carla performs on your system. If it's laggy or crashes, try the modified version instead. The simulator will now open and show the default map, Town 10. 
Use your mouse along with the W, A, S, and D keys to move around the map. Everything should be smooth and responsive. Now let's spawn some traffic using Python. Open a new terminal window and activate the virtual environment again. Source Carla underscore venv slash bin slash activate. Now navigate to the examples folder. That's inside Python API slash examples. Before running any script, install the required dependencies. Run pip install hyphen r requirements dot. If you get a NumPy version error, which is common with Python 3.10, you'll need to update the version number in the file. For example, change it to numpy greater than or equal to 1.24.0. Then save the file and rerun the install command. Now let's spawn some vehicles and pedestrians. Run python3 spawn underscore npc.py. This will create 30 vehicles and eight pedestrians. Switch back to the simulator, you'll see traffic moving around the city. Pretty cool, right? Let's take it a step further and drive a car yourself. Still inside the examples folder, run python3 manual underscore control dot pi. This opens up a pie game window with a car ready to drive. Here are the controls, W to accelerate, S to brake, a and D to steer, and P to toggle autopilot. Try pressing the P key and watch the car follow traffic laws all by itself. Press P again to take back control. Now, if you'd like to change the map from Town 10 to something else, here's how. Now, I went to the folder, Python API slash util, and ran the command you see on the screen. This will load Town 05 in Carla. You can look around and check out the map. If you run the command shown on the screen, you can change the current map to any other available one. This command allows you to change the weather of the currently loaded map. You can try different presets like clear skies, rain, sunset, or fog, and see how the environment updates in real time. It's a great way to test how your simulation behaves under different conditions.
Once the new map loads, feel free to explore. Town 5 has a different layout and environment. Now, here's something important. Carla does not update automatically. If a new version comes out, you'll need to manually delete the old version and repeat the same installation process. You've now installed Carla. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Drop any questions in the comments. I'll do my best to help. And don't forget to subscribe for more Carla and simulation tutorials.